you. Well, Josephson's body was found in Clarendon County on Friday afternoon, according to law enforcement, thanks to some hunters who were had their eyes out and were being aware of their surroundings. News 19's Nick Jones continues our team coverage today. He caught up with someone who was a longtime neighbor of the suspect. They say they can't believe he's the one who's been charged with Sammy's murder. The people who live in New Zion are shocked Samantha Josephson's body was found right in their community. According to the people who live here, the man charged with her murder used to live right down the road where her body was found. The Columbia Police Department identifies the suspect as 24-year-old Nathaniel Rowland. According to online records and people who live off of Knowlton Road in Clarendon County, Rowland lived half a mile down from where they say Josephson's body was found. I spoke with someone who says they used to be Roland's neighbor. They say watching him grow up, they would have never guessed Roland would do something he's being charged with. We chose to only show their shadow to protect their identity. He was a, a sweetheart, a gentleman. Like I said, you would never know him to do nothing like this. I knew him since a little boy. He always well-mannered, went to school, went to college, never got in trouble, and it's still hard to believe that he may or may not do something like this. I talked to several people who live in this community and right now they're a little on edge. They used to sleep with their doors unlocked, but for the time being, that will change. Reporting in Clarendon County, Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX.